Hello and welcome back to Brimple Plays Blackthorn Arena. This is Chapter 2, Episode 11. The orcs challenged us in the last episode and we defeated them. Now, the orc master has decided that we must challenge him within 11 days. Well, I guess the orc master didn't decide it, but um, the other major arena owners decided that. Anyways, we have 11 days to challenge the orc master and defeat both his weak team, quote unquote, weak, you know, and his um, champions, and then we will be eligible to host the Grand Games. So, we have 11 turns to prepare. How are things going? We need to begin researching again. We can't let that lapse. And then we have to look to see if anyone on our team can go back into training. These two are injured, and Pete is pretty injured as well, but he's such a low level that I'm okay with him continuing to train. We'll go back out to the world map in that case and look for an opportunity to fight. Something like this is actually pretty nice. We could send Edward out on this in place of Joy. Pascal, could we send you? I think we could. Two people with a heal? I do just want to get you people leveled up. Why is... Why do I have one human that is so short? She looks like a dwarf, but she's not a dwarf. What is happening with her? What is her problem? I don't understand. I want to understand. I don't. And we'll dispatch these three on the caravan. Okay. Next turn, we will attack the caravan. Oh, spiders. What is your loot worth? Can I loot you? Uh, one silver? I'm not gonna waste my time. It's kind of hard to loot corpses. And I'm not gonna do that for a silver. Hey, smoke pill worked. You'd love to see it. It's good to have two people on this team who can heal. And everyone on the team is going to get pretty good experience out of this mission. Pascal needs to be healed. Um, okay, well, I kind of got turned around in there, so I'll just keep going. There definitely should have been a treasure chest somewhere over there for me to loot. At least one or two, but like I say, I got turned around. Kind of got lost. Alright, this is a dangerous area because you can have people who split off right here. Thankfully they didn't. And if your whole team doesn't get engaged in combat at the same time, things can get ugly right here. Especially if the final boss of the dungeon oh, is a were spider and he's right here. That could be really ugly for us. Hmm. Well, that means the final boss of the dungeon must be up a different set of stairs. 
if we could kind of get out of here. There we go. Uh, probably can somehow get up there without turning all the way around. I'm sure you can do it. I know you can. There you go. I'm going to say that was worth it because we got that big experience potion. Just waiting right there to make sure that we got our cooldowns back and our stamina. We don't. I didn't want to go up here with low stamina and with no cooldowns. It's a good way to lose the fight. There he is, the were spider, and he's surrounded by his little spider minions. Oh no! Don't chase a running enemy. This is how. This is how you lose. fleeing. Someone heal Edward. This guy's gonna go down any second. I guess he can heal himself. Rosalie has been holding her own. That's uh, surprising. Wow. Yeah, they got it done. Showed that where spider what's up. That's a big enemy. It's a tough enemy. Let's see if we can get its wear spider brain. There we go. And we'll get the loot. Assassin gloves. Hey, that's nice. Didn't we get an assassin cloak for our archer? Hmm. Makes you think. What's the set bonus there? Precision and agility. Wow, 10 accuracy on those gloves, too. Those are pretty nice. That being the case, let's look at Juliet's inventory. Time to put that cloak on. And also, those gloves. It's a winning formula. Come back over here and look at Edward. Actually... We don't want to forget to give you that necklace. What's your dodge now? 61%? We like that. Edward will take this. And the machete. I don't think I have an upgrade for anybody else. Okay. Well, good enough. I, I really ought to train Juliet to be a marksman, but um, we're kind of running low on time. Having only nine turns to challenge the Orc Master, I, I need to make sure that whoever I decide to train for anything with within these nine days is the most valuable training that it can be. And I don't know that she is the most valuable trainer right now. Or trainee. It may be Edward to be a defender. Joy will, of course, cut this person down in half a second. Look at the merchant. The merchant's begging for their life, and Joy's like, "Oh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna murder you." for absolutely no reason. Wow, you found uh, somebody using guitars, huh? Look at that. Two, two people punching each other to death over here. Obviously, the other puncher is going to win. Pete, you don't really stand a chance here. You ought to flee, but Joy is going to come bail you out with a crit for 110 damage. Oh, good. 
soon as Pete is level 7, he can learn Body Slam and then he'll be worth something. Merchant's very dead. Just that guard then. Nice, okay. Good job, Pete. Got some interesting loot out of that, too. I guess we can give this to Pete. He doesn't really care what he's wearing at this point. Give you this weird helmet. Mismatch and everything. Oh, you don't need that, I guess. We could put this on you, but we're going to make something out of it instead. So, not for you. You'll get pants of your own one day. Just not today. We are going to give you unarmed combat skills now. And some people, if they watch the first chapter, are probably thinking, oh no, here we go again. And I'm here to tell you, yep, here we go again. That'll do. And do that. There. We're going to train Pete to be a battle monk eventually. Edward still needs to be trained in the ways of a defender. But he's healing, and it's going to take a while for him to heal. I appreciate the opportunity to gain four obedience right there. Joy, you ought to be training. Edward, you ought to train as well. Heal, heal, heal. I don't know that I need to take a fight until I challenge the Orc Master. We are going to craft another veteran heavy leg. Should we? I'm not so sure. Who would wear it right now? at this moment. Edward has the Blackthorn set going on right now, so he doesn't necessarily need it. You're dual wielding, you're punching people. You could. That's true. Huh. Although I would much rather just have Dogman get another piece of um, veteran medium gear. Is that possible? Can you craft veteran medium chest? I need lizard skin? Oh no, I, I sold it. Oh boy. Yikes. Well. Bad boys, what you want? Oh well. I want to find Edward, there he is, and just have him drink these experience potions again. And we're going to make him a defender and max out heavy armor expert at our earliest opportunity. And now, let us go to the, back to the treatment room and back to the world map. Six more days to challenge the Orc Master. We are really running out of time. Well, I'm not going to mess about. I'm going to...
just get him trained and then we will go. I hate that you're so beat up, but it is what it is. You'll be fine. You should drink that. I wonder if that applies to the orcs. I think we're going to give you some additional resistance. You need it. Especially against the people you're about to be up against. Good luck. Ugh. Okay. Good for you. Dog man, you ought to spend some points. We made you a ronin for a reason. Give you some agility. Willpower, we ought to get you that as well. That way when you come back you can transform immediately. Go crazy on whoever it is that you're attacking again. Joy. We will level you up as well. These are all important maneuvers on account of the fact that we're about to be fighting for the grand game opportunity. Should we make you a battle monk as well? That would be pretty crazy. Let's think about making you a battle monk. Juliet, what can we do for you? Huh. Well, obviously we can give you more agility. It's not a bad start. Anything to reduce your profile amongst those who would like to kill you is a good thing. And then we'll invest just another point into your ranged abilities. Okay. As for these stats, I don't know. I guess a couple of points into strength and then the rest into precision. You're going to need the strength for a couple of skills, like knocking people down. Rosalie, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to take you in a fight to the Orc Master, unless I need an alternate. Yeah, we're not taking an alternate, so sorry Rosalie, but you're not coming. You've lost your spot to Edward. Edward has shown his value. Proven. We're doing it this way. Okay. Yeah. Of course we're going to bet on our own team to begin with. By the herd. I do have guts. Not like the other masters. Supposedly, he's defeated Basil's champions. So, if that's the case, it's really up to me to take this guy down. I'm pretty sure Basil's champion is Russell Roan. And Russell Roan is... He's mean. You know, he's, he's tough. I'm pretty sure he's just wearing champion armor, too, and he's just he's so tough. Alright, you might think that was too easy of a victory, but I assure you, it's the next fight that's really tough. And here's why. In the next fight, we will be up against a fat orc, as well as you know, a random mix of other orcs. Usually one or two berserkers are in there. Um, that fat orc, however, this guy, he gains aggro right off the bat. So all four of your people will go for him. 
the orc assassin will jump to the back line usually as will the orc berserker i expect the orc berserker to kill juliet in this fight i don't expect juliet to survive any longer but we will see and uh we got a bet on our team so here we go uh, the best we can hope for is that the orc assassin or orc berserker die really quickly in an in the initial burst coming from joy and edward All right, here we go. We hate the fat work. We've got a little bit of veteran tier two, so that makes a big difference really. Okay, there's that initial burst. And it did, uh, it did pretty decent for us. Thankfully, we have survivability skills on all of our characters. Oh, Julia went down. She didn't die. Man, that is insane luck. The fact that Juliet is not dying, despite having gone down like ten times, is incredible. I, I'm very, uh, very satisfied with this team. Oh, you want to fight me, huh, Orc Master? No. I can't... I, I can't challenge him. I don't want to lose anybody on this team. And they're all so injured at this point that he would for sure kill whoever he knocked down. And he would knock them down. Orc Master is a very powerful enemy. One-on-one. -on -one, or two-on-one. -on -one at the end of this. But we've just won the opportunity to host the Grand Games. See, I'm going to let Abu talk about how great I am. I am now eligible to host the Grand Game. There we go. Alright, get out of here, Abu. So, very nice, we have the Barrier Breaker Axe right now. And and that is a great weapon. Um, you know, I'm not going to give it to anybody right now. Am I? Can't think of who I would give it to. Ronin required... Um, well, you're dual-wielding, not two-handed, so... Yeah, we did have a two-handed gladiator guy, but he got killed, so... You know, that's his own fault, really, if you think about it. He wasn't strong enough... Like, the way that Juliet is strong enough to continue getting up after being knocked down so many times. She's really resilient. Unlike... Gary, Polar, and Potter, and Rosie. That's the loser list. Level 12s? We could take those down. We have a level 20 in our midst. But, before we get greedy and psycho, let's research some armor. Let us take some more from Joy and transform that into even better armor through tier 2. Okay. So Joy will probably just chill for a minute. Pascal. You've been dual wielding for a little bit now. What do you think about it? Easy way to spend points. Maybe not the smartest way to spend points, but it's an easy way. P. 
Pete, on the other hand, I would like you to become a battle monk soonish. I think we're just going to let you focus on gaining more levels for now, though. Rosalie, I would like for you to become more formidable in a one on one scenario. More endurance, more willpower would be good for you. You're a berserker as well, so you ought to get headbutt. Okay. These can actually give you a good opportunity to get more money because you can bring home um, a couple of slaves and sell them and profit more than one gold. So these can be very worth it and you'll get good experience from it. It's just I don't I don't like the thought of keeping around the numerous people extra people until I go to the market to sell them. I'm just not really interested in doing that. I'd rather just either get the items outright from a caravan or a treasure chest plus the experience from doing those slash money you don't get so much money from a chest mission though anyways I guess we will skip this turn people are constantly hooking up and then breaking up in my Skolo, Ludus, whatever you want to call this. A level one? What? Why? Why? This is actually something that I believe I could win. Well, maybe not. Pretty high level. And I am very scared of losing somebody at this point, if you couldn't tell. A centaur? Hmm. Or a hippo? I haven't fought the monks. I ought to fight the monks. I haven't done this storyline mission yet. Kind of silly. Rosalie... What reason is there for sending you over Edward? There is none. Edward is the future of this organization. When Joy dies, Edward needs to be there to fill his shoes. And if that occurs, then you can fill Edward's shoes. Perhaps. Is Dogman still using a garbage helmet? Have I really not got Dogman a better helmet? No, he's not using a garbage helmet. Easy money for this team. I really like that a shapeshifter was able to kind of carry us through the early and mid game, and as we get later and later, the Ronins become more valuable, as do, well, the Cobras maintain their relevance throughout the game. You know, they, they become squishier, but they maintain relevance. You definitely need to invest in defensive capabilities for them if you want to keep them around. And the only reason I did that mission right there is to unlock the ability to get more monk gear. Seeing as how I have an unarmed person, I might want some monk gear. Maybe. You know, that's kind of just a if it happens, it, it happens kind of thing. Okay, Joy. You've got champion gauntlets now. I guess you just need boots and a helmet. And as you can see, 
even missing the boots and missing a belt and a cloak, Joy still has great HP. Still does very high damage. Veteran Tier 2 is, I think, the best armor. Some people say Champion is. I think Veteran Tier 2 is better than Champion. Hmm. I was looking at my own team training right there. Okay. I guess that's a good point to end this episode. When we come back... I guess we're just going to be training and kind of filling in time, equipping our people between now and the Grand Venations. So we need to challenge a lot of arenas in the coming episodes because we have to overcome our opponents around that time. I guess we're already not that far off from where Blood Sand stands. But Terrell's Prison Arena and Desolate Fort, I expect to really pick up the pace of gaining influence. Maybe Blood Sand will as well, but certainly Terrell's Prison will. That's where Kiara reigns from. Oh my goodness, I hate Kiara. Anyways, uh, thanks for tuning in, and I will catch you in the next episode.